My name is Luis Manuel Tumialan. I am a Barrow neurosurgeon. Minimally invasive surgery is attempting to accomplish the same goals that would otherwise require a longer and longer incision with greater exposure of the anatomy. Over the years, surgeons saw patients who would have a successful operation but then have a long recovery, require long uh, hospitalizations to recover from the operations that were done. Those are the pioneer, pioneering surgeons that said to themselves, we need to do more with less. And so a minimally invasive mindset, so to speak, is doing more with less. There are several advantages to a minimally invasive procedure for the patient. The first is that a longer incision will have greater tissue trauma, will have greater bleeding and greater risk of infection over the span of weeks to months than a smaller incision. In fact, the literature has demonstrated a significant decreased risk of infection with a minimally invasive approach, which is now less than one-tenth of one percent. That's the advantage number one. Number two is the post-operative recovery. Most of these procedures uh, were performed in an outpatient setting. The third advantage long-term would be for individuals to have less atrophy of the muscles. Atrophy is degenerations of the muscles just because they've been exposed, devascularized by an open approach, whereas a minimally invasive approach spares those muscles, spares the, uh, the majority of the uh, bony elements, and that allows for greater stability to the spine, less degeneration of the muscle, less atrophy of the muscle, and longer uh, the potential for longer outcomes. When I first arrived in this practice five years ago, I would say about 50% of my cases were performed minimally invasive. Now, five years later, 90 to 95% of all of my cases are performed minimally invasive. Everybody arrives in my clinic with the desire to have a minimally invasive operation. And it is important that we sort out who is going to be the ideal candidate to benefit from minimally invasive surgery. It is important that each patient be identified, examined, radiographic studies reviewed, a thoughtful analysis done with the options that are amenable to them. And the key component is seeing whether or not a minimally invasive approach will solve their problem, first and foremost. If so, then we should apply that. The Barrow has been on the forefront in neurosurgery now for decades. It is the culture that we have to keep analyzing what it is that we do, identifying those hurdles and finding ways to navigate around them or to look at a problem completely differently than we were previously. Developing techniques, developing instrumentation, developing uh, guides that allow us to do procedures more efficiently and more effectively and, and bringing those into a minimally invasive approach. It is that drive that is in all of us to make the field better than what we found it. And that is what we saw our predecessors do here and it's what I continue to do each and every day.